now we are going to calculate e field due to the sun infinite sheet charge infinite sheet charge okay so here the formula is rho s ds by 4 pi epsilon r square a r well, here we need to find out what is ds what is r and what is a r here ds is nothing but your point of source okay what uh, here your point of source is in the form of surface here the source is sheet right and hence the your source is also is is taken in the form of ds in the same way we have uh, taken the source here as dl because the source is in the form of line hence your uh, your uh, uh, line integral will be i mean the small differential uh, element of the source will be dl here small differential source will be uh, ds okay so it is important for us to find out what is ds and what is r r is nothing but the uh, distance between the point of source to the point of interest your point of source is nothing but it is lying on xyz plane sorry xy plane okay any point on xy plane is given as x comma y comma 0 or in order in order to convert this uh, rectangular to cylindrical system you will be getting it as rho comma 0 comma 0 so your point of source this point is nothing but rho comma 0 comma 0 and your point of interest is which is on lying on the z axis right so it is in the form of 0 comma 0 comma h so this is your point of interest this is your point of source okay and now what is r point of interest minus point of source point of interest minus point of source your you will be getting r r is nothing but 0 minus minus rho a rho identity rho phi z okay a rho a phi a z so 0 minus rho a rho 0 minus 0 it will not be anything h minus 0 a z h which is in the form of z place right so h a z this is your r what is your magnitude of r it is nothing but rho square plus h square whole power 1 by 2 so a r you got R also you got. Now the only term you need to know is ds. What is ds? ds is the small differential surface on this plane and any surface have its direction perpendicular to the surface. So if, if it is like this, <coughs> what is the perpendicular? This is your perpendicular, right? This is your perpendicular. So what this perpendicular is in which direction? Z direction. This is your z direction, right? This one. If this is the plane, this is the xy plane, this is your perpendicular. That means it is in the z direction. So, your ds is along z direction. Your ds is along z direction. So, ds is along z direction. So, one way to write the differential surface, <coughs> if you know the direction is, what are the parameters? I said rho phi z, right? Rho phi z. If the direction is along z, then your differential surface will be along the other two directions that means d rho d rho and phi now what is the differential length along phi it is rho d phi so your ds along z direction is rho d rho, uh, d rho rho d phi that means rho d rho d phi this is your ds in the same way here also in the last derivation okay in the last derivation uh, here also you need to write down the same thing ds r a r same your point of source here is a uh, rho comma 0 comma 0 your point of interest is 0 comma 0 comma h and uh, your ds again is in the z direction it is the xy plane so ds will be in the z direction and hence ds will be rho d uh, d rho rho d phi a z okay and you need to calculate ar ar also the same thing uh, as you have seen here rho uh, point of interest minus point of source poi minus pos okay you will be getting ar and you need to substitute in the formula here the e field is the surface integral right so what is surface integral it is nothing but double integral okay so here here ds is nothing but it is varying along rho it is varying along phi so what is the double integral one is varied along phi direction which is from 0 to 2 pi one is uh, phi in the thing could it rho so another one is uh, varying with respect to L, with, uh, with respect to rho which is from rho is from 0 to infinity with 0 to infinity that is what i have written so ds is nothing but the double integral double integral with respect to phi and rho phi and rho the another one is uh, the other uh, thing in the formula is rho s by 4 pi epsilon constant we are writing outside and what is ds rho d phi d rho okay and what is ar 
by r square a r by r square again is r by r cube avuna a r by indaku nenu cheppanu a r by r square is nothing but r by igo ikkada cheppanu a r by r square is nothing but r by r cube so r ochu manaki what is it this is your r by r cube and the whole power 3 by 2 so r by r cube you have written now now we need to integrate this again again here row component gets cancelled why row on row component gets cancelled for every small differential surface for every small differential surface on the uh, 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 here there will be exactly same differential surface on the exactly opposite side 180 degrees opposite side so when you are integrating over the phi we are when we are integrating over phi 0 to 2 pi 0 to 180 and 180 to 360 right so this will be one value this will be exactly the same value but in the negative direction so it will get cancelled out so row component vanishes row component vanishes and hence you can neglect this and the only component that is present is z component which is nothing but rho s by 4 pi epsilon integral 0 to 2 pi 0 to infinity the remaining terms are rho d phi d rho h a z by rho square plus h square whole power 3 by 2 okay if you are assuming uh, here uh, here there is a term which is in the form uh, there here you need to integrate over rho and integrate over phi there is no phi term hence integral 0 to 2 pi d phi ikkad d phi undi kada if you bring here d phi and the remaining terms will be rho h d rho by rho square plus h square so what is integral 0 to pi 2 pi d d phi it is nothing but 2 pi okay so rho s by 4 pi epsilon into 2 pi into what is this integral 0 to infinity rho h d rho by rho square plus h square whole power 3 by 2 i am assuming rho square plus h square as u if i assume this and if i do the differentiation uh, uh, with respect to rho and u this is being the constant h being constant h another entity it's a point of interest it can be at any distance constant distance h so if it is zero the if it is constant then if you take the differentiation it is nothing but 2 rho d rho is equal to this is zero is equal to u uh, it is nothing is equal to du ona right? so 2 rho d rho d rho is equal to du i am interchanging here so that i can get the integration value okay if i have to integrate now this one see uh, d uh, rho d rho i am replacing it with 1 by 2 du okay so rho d rho i am replacing with id enti di 1 by 2 1 by 2 du so 1 by 2 du into inka migilind enti h divided by this is u u power 3 by 2 so u power 3 by 2 du avuna so what is integral u power 3 by 2 du it is nothing but ego this one this is nothing but minus 1 by 2 by u power minus 1 by 2 avuna so which is nothing but u power minus 1 by 2 name and write 1 by root 2 root u okay and here you have minus 1 by 2 so here you have minus 1 by 2 and on and, and in the upper uh, uh, in the numerator you are ha already having 1 by 2 here avuna idi ninchu ochina 1 by 2 undi so this and this will get cancelled minus is there you need to uh, you have integrated you have integrated this you got the uh, okay there there is no zero to infinity amma after integration only you got this answer sorry uh, so so uh, the answer is rho s by 2 epsilon h is constant so outside what is left minus 1 by what is u power uh, u power 1 by 2 u is nothing but rho square plus h square you have to substitute the limit 0 to infinity okay if you substitute 0 to infinity if you place infinity you will be getting 0 okay minus 0 plus minus of minus plus if you substitute uh, row place row 0 you will be getting h square whole power 1 by 2 that means 1 by h so 0 plus 1 by h what is 0 plus 1 by h it is 1 by h so you need to multiply this whole thing with 1 by h which is nothing but row s h by 2 epsilon into 1 by h yes this is your uh, this is your answer okay now in the same way in the same way here also the same formula row uh, here in, instead of infinite sheet we are taking a small, uh, circular disk whose ra whose uh, radius is a again okay but your differential surface you are taking inside uh, inside this point hence this this 
distance is rho okay so your point of interest will be uh, point of source will be rho comma 0 comma 0 point of source is rho comma 0 comma 0 point of interest is 0 comma 0 comma h so what is r r is again the same value and what is ds again ds because it is in the xy plane ds will be in along z direction so z and a idi and uh, if you know this direction the the differential surface will be d rho rho d phi okay so ds tells you uh, r tells you ar tells you you just have to substitute in this form in this form again again you will be getting the same thing again you have to do the the same thing here here you your uh, your rho is nothing but a because this is infinite extent right so here you have to substitute rho but here it is extended up to the radius a hence rho this rho this rho will be here a of the circle so your limits are not 0 to infinity your rho is not varying from 0 to infinity because it is infinite it, it goes from 0 to infinity but whereas here it is not infinite it is a partic particular radius a it goes from rho uh, goes from 0 to a only so you have to substitute the limit 0 to a rest of all the derivation is same here and here here it was just infinity here it is just a infinity is replaced with a and you can solve the same thing you will be getting this answer okay right 